folks, Bob Kessler, dogmentalist.com here. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about... So, we're getting ready to go see our rescue. I gotta go remember her name. I try not to use the name too much. It sort of poisons the name. You overuse it, and then the dog stops paying attention to it. You should only use the name to alert the dog of something. Could be a cue, could be to pay attention, slow down, whatever. But not the name. This is going to be a very, very sticky situation. I have a nervous little rescue in there. Um, when I came to the door, she barked, uh, Gizmo. So uh, I'll do everything with Gizmo live and in color. Uh, it's going to be wild. The kids are already jumping around with the dog. I, I saw that. So when you when you have that kind of environment, the dog is on all the time. It's nervous. It doesn't know how to calm down. What I have to do is that gizmo is getting ready to go off at any moment. So uh, I'll bring in my treat bag and everything with me. Uh, so I have my treats right next to me. I hope I have enough for this little girl. She's wild. And we're not going to scare her off the couch. We're not going to push her off the couch. We're going to use a positive reward for getting off the couch. Okay? So it looks to me that she's a little fearful. So maybe bad things happen. Maybe somebody kicked her regularly or stepped on her regularly or put her in a compromised position when her feet were on the ground. We don't know. This is a shelter dog. Close with Brianna. She's certainly Brianna. We got her. Mm -hmm. Part of why we her right now. Yes, she's. Let's get her comfortable. Yeah. And she just shut down immediately. Yep. Okay. That, that's okay. That's okay. What I'd all, like you all to do now is to walk toward the street, all of you. Thank you. I think all things dogs. Yeah. It leads me. It leads me down a, a good path. Yeah. All right. So let's go in and see how she's doing when we all walk in together. Come on, Gizmo. Give me a bite. She get off of me. <laughs> so I have my hand under her. She doesn't care. She said, "Step away from the dog." Who would have thought <laughs> that I would come here and your dog would jump in my lap? Right, not ours. Not yours. Not yours. She jumped in my lap. That I would say is her leadership. I have shown her nothing but leadership. Now she's not even lying on me. She's just using my body as reassurance for her. Do you believe in mentalism? Do you understand what dog yeah. mentalism yeah. is now? We've watched it. You yeah. watched it happen, right? right? Yeah. You watched how I was able to sort of plan out how to get her out of her shell. Okay. That's because in terms of a mentalist, I know my subject. So what do you guys think? I told you that I got a live show that I'm going to bring a bunch of people together and I'm going to try and dog mentalize people live and Brian, what do you think? You think I, I can do it? I think that's a, a pretty cool idea and I think uh, uh, it'll show people what you know about dogs, that's for sure. I'm going to try and show the people how they've been bringing up their dog up until they met the dog mentalist. Okay, once I show them there's a different way in, in five or ten minutes Maybe I can get their dog to act the way they really wanted it to act from the beginning. You think it can happen? You think I can do it? Yeah. Yep. You think I can do it? You're convinced. I think. How about, how about you, happen. Tiffany? Great right, kids. Hey, Keystone. Say bye, buddy. Bye. bye. Then she went to lie down. So now her complete demeanor has changed to socialize her and to use her seeking emotion, the most important emotion that we have to use to have our dogs. She knows how to go down. Oh, you're not sure. About at least six feet. This baby's a little heavy. Last yeah. time I was here, I didn't use it. <laughs> I had trouble keeping up with her. 
Okay, you don't have to keep up with her. Okay, when I demonstrate loose leash walking for you, you'll see I'm not going to keep up with her. Oh, good. So we want to have a, I have personally a six foot leash, 10 foot, 15, 20, 25 and 30. What do I feel like? So it looks like I felt like uh, maybe a, a, 25 foot a 25 foot one, right? Uh, yeah. So I love to do this with my dog one month old or uh, younger than yours. What's better than a roll in the grass with your dog? A man and his dog. I know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Absolutely. Your dog gets really a pull-free walk and they become more accustomed to it. And then when you shorten up to a shorter lead or you continue to walk with your shorter lead, she basically learns the six feet. And then the 10 feet is a big treat and no pulling for you. It's unbelievable. These people at this community center told me that I could bring dogs into the center. And all I have to do is be responsible for cleaning up the carpets. They took it to the city and the city said, okay. So this is gonna be where I could have the dog event. I'm gonna go in and talk to them, find out about uh, signing the contract and making payments. And uh, I have a facility. This is the only thing that I cared that I could finally get a facility that would accept dogs and I think I got it in this one so I'm gonna go in now and talk to him and make sure everything's on the up and up unbelievable unbelievable the place is perfect a beautiful stage I just met the people who rented are gonna be in, issuing me a permit to bring dogs into this facility to have a live show I, I'm so psyched. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's actually happening. I'm going to actually do the show. Well, I hope I'm going to do the show. God knows what's going to happen if I get 50 dogs together with their owners going into a stage show and asking them to come up stage and perform with me. It'll be amazing. <laughs> Can I do it? That's the question. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm pumped. I can't believe. We're having a show for dogs. Unbelievable. You can look at him and see what he wants. He wants up. Right now he's saying mommy, and if you look at him, I guarantee you he's gonna get closer to you yeah. until he eventually works his way back up on your lap. Okay. All right, you have to recognize all these little stares that he's giving you are all designed to weaken you and to, for you to go, come on Mikey, come on up here. He trained you, okay. and when he trains you, you lose leadership. Okay. Did you see that light bulb just go off in your head? Mm -hmm. it, it came right, yeah. I saw it, I saw it happen. Yeah. You are now going to be like the mama bear, like the bird, and like good parents. You're going to prepare your dog to be independent. Okay. You don't have like a piece of salami around. Yeah, there. I do. I you can. do? Yeah. Ham? Uh, is that his ham or your ham? It's his. Oh. <laughs> Why do you give me these treats when we got ham? Come on! <laughs> this little guy here needs you to make him independent so he can interact with you and with your husband. Okay. All right? We, All right. we love our dogs, you see? Yeah. My intention is to show you the difference between love and affection. Yeah. Dogs cannot handle affection, human affection. You vary one little bit with these animals, you are lost. You, you, you have to be totally consistent. So every once in a while I get lucky and I get to come to a beautiful place to train dogs. And uh, today I got lucky. Mikey, going over to his mommy. Kobe, can you eat? Can Kobe have treats? Come here, Mikey. So Mikey is feeling a lot better around Kobe, um, which is natural. He's it. Oh. So, my, uh, Kobe has decided he doesn't like the camera. And uh, a, little, a little treat here or there might help. Um, Mikey's very picky. He only wants hand. So, he'll take it from my hand, though. So, you can see a different side of Mikey when uh, Kobe's around. It's interesting. Uh, he feels more secure.
Hi, I'm Sherry Copey and we live in Fort Myers. We have two dogs and most recently adopted Mikey, who is a rescue. We adopted him about seven months ago and he's been a challenge to, to reel back from his abuse, but we're getting there. But the dog mentalist, because he, Mikey is tricky, and I had to get in his head to reverse the damage done. We investigated all sorts of different training programs in the area, and Bob, by far, was the best one to go with. He believes in positive reinforcement. He trains the trainer and the owner, and I've, uh, I highly recommend him for any extremely difficult situation you might have with a dog. He's, he seems to have all the cues and ideas and practical uh, homework for me to do now. So I appreciate everything Bob's doing. Bob, I, if I was to describe him in two words, it would be miracle worker. You don't find that with the animal training at all because you get a medley of different techniques. But Bob certainly has gotten into Mikey's head we understand our dog more, we can anticipate our dog's actions, and to me that's a miracle. So I highly recommend him for any training you might have. I love my dogs. <laughs> that's why I do this every day. If I can have a new dog every day, I'm happy.